Today here we are going to see the central problems that every economy faces, the central problems of the economy. Now the central problems as we have discussed the reasons from where the problems come up, the, with those reasons, reasons was unlimited human wants, limited resources or scarce resources and alternative use of resources were present. So with these problems, with these reasons, we come up with the central problems of an economy, what to produce and by how much, how to produce and for whom to produce. What to produce is related to the economy has to decide that among those unlimited ones, which are the priority, which demands has more intens intensity and it has to produce that and by what quantities. How to produce is the application of technology, whether the economy produces capital intensive technology or labor intensive technology. And how to, for whom to produce is the problem of distribution. Whatever has been produced, it needs to be distributed according to the demand. So that's the problem of distribution depending upon the distribution of income in the economy. Moreover, some allied problems also persist that the economy should, should utilize the resources fully. There should not be any wastage. Your resources should be efficiently utilized also. And there is a question of economic growth where more and more of goods and services can be produced so that national output can be increased, national uh, income can be increased or per capita income can be increased. These problems has been discussed with the help of a production possibility curve given by Professor Samuelson. He first defined that a production possibility curve is the curve that shows various combinations of two goods that can be produced in an economy with given amount of resources subjected to the technological constraint. Constraint means whatever technology we have, the limitations. Now, this, uh, this, in this definition, he has considered two goods because with so many goods to be produced in the economy, it cannot be uh, plotted with diagram with only we, we, where we have only two axes. So he reduced that out of so many goods to be produced, let us consider how the economy allocates its resources among two goods. Let us consider two goods X and Y. So according to the definition of uh, uh, Professor Samuelson, it is the combination of two goods that can be produced. See, we have taken commodity X in horizontal axis and commodity Y in vertical axis. And combinations like C, D and E are the combinations of X and Y. How much X is produced and how much Y is produced. X increased, Y decreased. E is another combination of X and Y that shows the production possibility curve. When these curves are joined, the locus gives us the production possibility curve. There are some assumptions for this production which, which he took. The amount of productive resources are fixed. We know they are limited resources. No change in technology at a point of time. All resources are fully employed. There is no resources left over in the economy. And finally, the resources are not equally efficient in producing all goods and services. So this assumption, please be careful that all the resources, a person who is efficient in production of shirts is not efficient in the production of cakes, is not that much efficient in the production of cakes. So he uh, produces, he produces, so the, the resources are not equally efficient in producing all goods and services. Next, we come, we consider this production possibility curve. We need to know that why the production possibility curve is of such a shape, the characteristics of production possibility curve or the characteristics of PPC. Let us let the economy produce two goods X and Y with given amount of available resources and given technology and we have taken the assumption all resources are fully employed. Let us take that a certain point, a certain combination according to the demand of the economy, a certain amount of X and certain amount of Y is produced. So we take Y on the uh, production of Y, a uh, quantity of Y produced on the vertical axis and production of X on the horizontal axis. Now, 
as we take a combination we take a combination C where certain amount of X is produced and certain amount of Y is produced you know X in the X coordinate and Y in the Y coordinate so a certain amount of X and certain amount of Y is produced now according to the demand for the economy if the production of X needs to be increased if the production of X needs to be increased how to increase production of X no resources are there all resources are fully employed so the production of Y needs to be reduced and we reach a point D where X increases and Y decreases so the production of X can only be increased by decreasing the production of Y where resources from Y are taken and utilized in production of additional units of X so therefore to increase the production of X we have to reduce the production of Y when all resources are fully employed. Thus PPC is downward sloping. Thus PPC is downward sloping. Secondly, if we increase the production of X further according to the demand for economy, the same amount of X is increased, but we see the amount of sacrifice of Y is more now. The amount of sacrifice is of Y is more now as the economy goes from C to D the amount of Y sacrificed and the amount as the economy goes from D to E the amount of Y sacrificed is more that means there is imperfect substitutability of resources that was assumed that all resources are not efficient in production of all goods and services so due to imperfect substitutability of resources more of Y needs to be sacrificed more of resources from the previous combination needs to be employed for additional units of X produced. We call this there is an increase in the opportunity cost. Now this increase in opportunity cost leads the PPC to have the shape of concave to origin. To have the shape of concave to origin. Thus the PPC is not only downward sloping but is also concave to origin. So there are two features of PPC one is one is downward sloping PPC is downward sloping and the second is PPC is concave to origin.